Hi everyone, welcome to finally a new video! Let's do a throwback to 2018 where I found a beautiful jellyfish picture and immediately wanted to turn it into a doll. Um, I started her two years ago and unfortunately because of that some of the footage got lost due to my laptop dying. Um, so the whole rerouting process got lost, including the tedious process of tying small beads onto nylon thread plus a good chunk of the face up. To sum it up, I sketched in the eyes and did some very basic blushing with pink and purple and also, barely visible I guess, some gradient on her forehead. So now we're back on track, blocking in the eyebrows with pastels and then drawing individual hairs with pencil. I used different tones of blue, purple and also white for that. A bit of a close-up on the lashes this time. Basically, I take a nice shade of blue and lightly sketch in the lashes. I do this very light-handed so the lashes stay thin. Then I come back with a darker pencil um, to deepen the colors. This one looks <laughs> kind of blunt, but it is sharpened with a knife in an angle, so I have a very thin tip to draw with. I usually do this with my dough and ink tense pencils because they are very soft and tend to break if I sharpen them too much. After that I go back in with the first color to blend the dark one into it more. It gives a very subtle gradient and the illusion of thick lashes that end very thinly. <laughs> and to make it all pop a bit more I added some white lashes in between. I started blushing the lips with pastels, but I decided I wanted a really dark color, so I went in with pencils instead. I started with purple and then layered dark blue and purple, adding color and details. As you can see, I'm going for a more um, monochromatic look this time. <clears throat> After that I sprayed it with MSC and worked on the second layer. That means going over all the lines a second time to deepen the colors. I then took a white pencil to draw the dotted pattern on her forehead, which I then painted with white paint. I put some Perlex shimmer on the whole face to give her a bit more of a mysterious and beautiful look. I always use a lot, even though it looks excessive at first, 
because the sealant will eat most of it after spraying. <laughs> White highlights are added with acrylic paint. To add more dimension to the face, I added a half pearl to the biggest dot and on the others I dabbed a bit of thick shimmery paint. And to finish the face up, I just gloss the eyes and lips. The face is done! <laughs> now the hard part! Clothes! Yay! <laughs> My dear friend Whisperite on Instagram designed me this beautiful outfit for her. I used a pretty shiny fabric and this iridescent ribbon for the top. The pattern is from Requiem Arts Design. I'll link her shop in the description. For the frilly part at the bottom, I cut a piece of a gradient colored fabric at an angle and then gathered it for some nice ruffle effect and sewed it to the bottom. For the skirt, I used this beautiful blue holo glitter fabric. Ah, it's so pretty, but such a mess to clean up. <laughs> glitter everywhere. I did the same I did with the bottom. I gathered it and sewed it under the bust. To give it that kinda poofy look, I gathered the bottom as well. And now, another tedious part. Gluing half pearls to the whole thing. These are stickers, but I used some extra glue to make it more durable. And it took quite some time. <laughs> Thank you. 
Then repeat the whole process with a smaller piece for the sleeves. To finish the outfit, I glued a blue ribbon around her neck and added a tear-shaped sticker to it. I used some Frankenstein shoes and sculpted around the heels with epoxy sculpt. Then painted the shoes white and added some pearly shimmer. I finished them with cute pearls. So, now we can put the head back on the body and open up her braids to reveal the curls. Separating the nylon thread was another tedious thing to do, <laughs> but I guess in the end it was worth it, don't you think? This doll took me a long time to finish. <laughs> uh, I started in spring 2018 with the reroute and after that got involved in a few bigger projects, so I stopped working on her. In 2019, I did a part of the face-up in an attempt to get back into doll working, which I failed, <laughs> if you follow me a bit. <laughs> this year I finally was motivated enough to finish her and she has been done for a couple of months by now, actually. Um, but this whole pandemic situation and also a lot of personal stuff um, that happened sucked all energy and motivation out of me again. So I'm slowly trying to get back to everything. We will see if I succeed. <laughs> so what do you think? Was it worth the wait? Should I have redone the face? Probably. <laughs> I think if I would ever redo her, I'll add some more colors to it, even though I kind of like the monochromatic look. <sighs> oh well. <laughs> Thanks for watching and for being patient with me. See you all again, hopefully soon. Bye. I used a pretty shiny fabric and this iridescent, 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 <laughs> iridescent, iridescent.